Hello guys, this is uh, Philip Emmenecker speaking and I have the pleasure to uh, introduce you to this uh, budget import tool that we made uh, within our liquidity package, an extension from iTechRD for SAB Business One. Long uh, story short, uh, why did we introduce an own uh, budget importer for SAP Business One? Uh, there is already, a, let's call it kind of an, uh, a UI template within SAP standard that does the same. Um, and the answer is uh, fairly simple. Um, for us, uh, we see the default SAP standard functionality as being too complicated and inflexible and ultimately is simply uh, not good enough for uh, larger corporations that have complex uh, scenarios uh, with uh, profit centers, uh, different currencies and so forth. And uh, when we summarize uh, the entire feature in uh, one feature set, I will call uh, call everything or I will call it to, to be able to import everything that can be created. Uh, via Excel. So whatever you can put into an Excel uh, spreadsheet uh, is what we can import within SAP Business One Standard. But now that it's already enough of talking, let's go and see the functionality on a Business One installation. We have here a default SAP Business One demo environment and uh, we already initialized the uh, SAP budget functionality. So you see there is this uh, budget setup menu. And if you are familiar with the main structure, you can already spot that there has uh, been an extra menu added from uh, our add-on, which is called import budget. And when you click on it, um, or maybe let's do first uh, the deletion of all the existing budgets, which we have set up uh, already just to start from scratch. So you see that in 2020 we do have not a single budget left. So you're going to see that the import will work perfectly fine. So all of these scenarios are now deleted and we will start over again with the import function. Now when you press the import function first of all you see that it is expecting a file in uh, our case in Excel spreadsheet. If you do not have a file, uh, there is the possibility to export a template. Let's do it right away. Let's do that. We will save it on the desktop. We call it demo uh, in English and we save it. And now once we open it, here we go. You see the uh, spreadsheet already opening and the spreadsheet as such is uh, designed extremely simple. It's designed to do the minimum, but it's already enough. You, all you have to do is specify the account and or the cost center and or the project on which you want to do the uh, budgeting. can be a combination of everything. It can be zero, it can be empty, it doesn't matter. Huh? Um, and then the minimum is to have 12 periods. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to be from January to December. It can be anything in between the years, depending on the finance year setup of SAP. But ultimately, uh, it's 12 periods, which is summing up to a, a full year. Huh? Good. And then there is nothing else left, but let's do, for example, here, demo, cost center, whatever. We save it. And then let's try to import it in SAP and see what's happening. Huh? Again, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is to select the file we just created, demo in English. We open it, we name it somewhere, maybe the same as the file, oops, doesn't matter in, in detail. And then let's try to import it. By the way, you can uh, choose if you want to import the figures within local currency or system currency, especially if you are a larger enterprise, you most likely would like to do both or separate or uh, only the one. And then let's go and press import. Now, what you get before it adds to SAP Business One is a VisiWick, um, a VisiWick uh, UI 
on which everything which might not be of correctness will indicate in red. And in my, uh, of course, I did it on purpose. In my example, I chose a file on which the account numbers do not exist and also my demo call center does not exist. Um, still, it illustrates everything else that has been recognized. Um, however, at this point, because you do still have some red lines, you would not be able to proceed. Doesn't matter at all, by the way. Um, of course, I prepared for today's demo a file, uh, an example, budget 2020, um, that we have figures that are all um, valid. So I have here all my accounts that have been marked as budget accounts. I have two different cost centers that uh, actually exists and I have a bunch of numbers. Let me mark all of them and you're going to see at the end on the uh, right uh, bottom um, all of them sum up uh, to a net profit of 57,000 and some odd numbers. Okay, let's import this one and see how the budget importer will react in uh, that case. It's again the same um, the same example, we simply choose the file that we have just created or done or edited or whatever. And then we import it, uh, we call it example English and we will import it for the financial year 2020 in local currency. Good, let's do that. And now again, you get a fully um, a Visivic screen on which you can still modify the entries. By the way, you could, if you want to, you could uh, edit the numbers here in the grid directly and uh, differ from the Excel template if you would like to do that. Um, in my case, as I don't have any you know, red lines or whatever, I now just proceed. Uh, to the actual uh, in import of the Excel. By the way, you do have a visibility check again uh, on the right bottom. You see if the summary of all the amounts imported are equal to what you have actually edited in the, the Excel spreadsheet. In my case, again, it's 57,000, which is absolutely true. And I will now bring that into the SAV Business One standard. It will take a couple of seconds, you can see, uh, until it will get you a, a positive or a negative message. In my one, it's all good and the budget creation has been completed. Cool. Let's check it up in SAP standard. Uh, in our case, we do now have new scenarios in the financial year 2020. Here we go. We've deleted them before and I see also they have been named exactly as how we named it in the import process. And in my case, we have three scenarios. Uh, one we made for cost center 100, the second we did for cost center 200, and another uh, bunch we did uh, without any uh, cost center indication, which is number three. And now all we have to do is uh, to maybe cross check with SAP if all the imported figures are correct. Let me do that with our uh, neat report. Uh, profit loss versus budget and see if this is the case. Let me quickly change the period to 2020 as is, this is the year where we did the import and see if the figures are all correct. Here we go. Remember we did something 57,000 uh, net profit which is, let me show it here, I already see it again on the right bottom. That is the Profit and loss, which we imported, consists of a couple of, um, you know, um, headlines and, and detail uh, summaries. And if I go further down, and that's the full year number, right? And if you remember correctly, we did some um, seasonality within the year, and that you can perfectly see here on the charts uh, how the budget numbers are, you know, uh, evolving. And maybe to close the short demo here with an SAP standard UI, we can of course see the same in the budget uh, definition itself. So let's go and choose one, maybe the one uh, without cost center, the one 
which we did here with the most numbers in it. Here we go. Wonderful. And here you see perfectly all credit and debit numbers are imported as a, a complete full year number. And if you, for example, double click on one or the other line, you see uh, the monthly uh, seasonality behind the numbers. And that's exactly the same uh, as we have put into the Excel spreadsheet. For example, if we check the 462, the account on the Excel spreadsheet, 462, that's this line, you see 30K, uh, 27, uh, 25, whatever, it's exactly here reflected uh, within SAP standard. Good. Well, uh, long story short, how you can uh, uh, buy <laughs> or demo the tool, it's a very simple action you have to do. Simply uh, write us an uh, email to hello at itegrity.ch and then you're going to get the um, installation files and demo instructions. If you're an end customer or uh, if you want to buy it directly, also write us an email on hello at itegrity.ch and you get everything. The installation process is very straightforward. It doesn't take longer than half an hour and uh, to instruct a user again, uh, it's all you need is this video. So it will be below 10 minutes and you can start working with it. Um, last but not least, I just that you get an indication again, the budget important is just one tool out of four from the entire liquidity package. So you get the tool not only with the budget important, but also with some advanced cash flow statements, um, installment features and a forecast uh, on the liquidity if you need to do some advanced financial activities besides the SAP Business One standard. Okay, thank you very much for the time frame that you spent with us and the interest and I wish you a very nice good year, uh, lots of budget imports and see you in 2020. Thank you.